Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 27, verses 35 through 37. As Jesus was crucified, a prophecy was being fulfilled from, from Psalm chapter 22, verse 18, as I quote from the English Standard Version, they divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. And as the Roman guards prepared to keep watch over Jesus, as we see in Matthew chapter 27, verse 37, quoting from the New King James Version, teaches us, and they put up over his head the accusation written against him. This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. As they accused Jesus of blasphemy, in Matthew chapter 26, verse 65, they put up a sign declaring him to be what they accused him of, the king of the Jews. And they also added his name to the sign, so as no one would mistake this to be someone or anyone else. God works in mysterious ways, and this is one of the greatest of them all, Jesus to be the king. This is an example of God claiming victory over the devil in the physical world as, as he entered the spiritual world to claim victory once for all, as we also learn in Romans chapter 6, verse 10. It is an amazing fact that the Bible teaches us in Romans Chapter 6, verse 10, as I quote from the New International Version, The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. And in the very next verse is declared, In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. As we learn in Romans chapter 6, verse 11. In the mockery of Jesus, the Roman soldiers lifted him up to be glorified by all as the king of the Jews. Dear Lord, in your majesty, you are glorified beyond the grasp of man. You are almighty, powerful, and all-loving and caring. You are our rock in Christ Jesus as we are saved from sin through his righteous act. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.